على نور. And you know we have this now, this new phenomena, the internet, the YouTube, where it's easy to humiliate other people, and nobody just writes something by somebody else. I, I say to you, you know, Sheikh Jawar mentioned this. You know, the Prophet Sallallahu said that on the day of judgment, a man will come, he will have good actions equivalent to the mountain of Ohud. Equivalent to the mountain of Ohud. You know how long mountain Ohud is? Nine kilometers. He will have good actions equivalent to the mountain of Ohud. And he will come with his actions, but he will have taken the rights of other people. He would have taken the rights of other people. He would have sworn at this person. He would have backbited this person. He would have taken the haq of this person. And the Prophet wasallam said, Allah will take his actions and he will give it to these people. Give it to these people. And there will be such a long line that his actions will finish. His actions will finish and there will be still people who will be waiting for their haq. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do what Allah will do then. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take their action, their evil actions and place it on his shoulders until he's dragged into the fire of Jahannam. Today I understand, Shaykh Yawr says, today I understand this narration. I understand it. All you do is write something evil about some person somewhere and you press one button. And a hundred thousand people read that. You have done ghiba. You have slandered that person in front of a hundred thousand people. A hundred thousand people on the day of judgment. How will you explain? Why? Because you know what? Your sheikh, your maulana, your peer, your some guy out there told you that you are the haq. Abu Hurairah reported, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do you know he is bankrupt? They said, the one without money or goods is bankrupt. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Verily, the bankrupt of my nation are those who come on the day of resurrection with prayers, fasting and charity, but also with insults, slander, consuming wealth, shedding blood and beating others. The oppressed will each be given from his good deeds. If his good deeds run out before justice is fulfilled, then their sins will be cast upon him, and he will be thrown into the hellfire.